Welcome back all, Hadex Gaming here, and I'm bringing you all some more tips and tricks. I saw how well the last video did, and I thought, why not bring you some more just before the next update drops? So sit back, relax, and get ready to learn some things you didn't already know existed. So without any hesitation, let's jump into the tips and tricks to help you on your next journey. Number one, ladders reflect their position on the surface as they do in caves. See a room that may be hard to reach? Dig up the surface ladder, walk over to where the cave room is and place the ladder. Voila, you're where you need to be without needing to mine a bunch of stuff. Number two, use the force of wind trinket to dash, then get in a boat to maintain momentum and increase the speed of your boat. Number three, with the addition of treasure rooms, if you obtain the hoverboard from the elder quests, you can simply toggle the door by stepping on the first pressure plate and then fly over the rest of the pressure plates to easily bypass the hidden floor mechanic. Number four, if you have the blink scepter and come across these rooms, you can blink to bypass the motion sensors so that the traps don't trigger you. Pro tip, the blink scepter will also teleport you six blocks forward. Number five, explore the deserts for an ostrich. Killing one of these gives the ostrich mount, which is a fast enough mount to utilize against nearly every single boss in the game. Number six, a full set of critical boosts will out damage a full set of damage boosts if you are using a fast weapon and a frozen wave trinket. Number seven, find an island you like will take note of the global coordinates by opening your map, changing it to global and hovering over the island. Now when you start a new world, you can choose to set your spawn to these coordinates. Number 8. Bombs will explode rocks and ores one tier above your pickaxe. Dynamite will explode rocks and ores two tiers above your pickaxe. Number 9. You can save scum enemy drops by saving before you kill them, making a backup of your world, spawning in and killing them again to obtain the drop you want. This is useful when trying to get the items dropped by pirates as they do not spawn after defeating the pirate captain or if you are trying for a certain drop from a boss. Number 10. Finding that during the final boss you're being hit by his 360 laser attacks, well the staircase also blocks the attack as well. Number 11. Ever found when building that your block placement can't keep up? Well equip the toolbox trinket to sort that out. You can obtain a toolbox trinket by combining a construction hammer, a telescopic ladder, a tool extender, and an item attractor at an advanced workstation. All these trinkets can be obtained from the elder through his quest rewards. Number 12. When planting trees, they need one tile between them. However, you can plant torches between them to light up the area. Number 13. The Evil's Protector boss and the Ancient Vulture are the only two bosses who can be fought on the surface. This means you can summon them in a village and have the guards melt through their HP with ease. Number 14. This is quite often overlooked, but it's that you can utilize your leftover copper, iron, and gold bars for demonic bars. The transfer rates are 3 copper bars for 1 demonic, 2 iron bars for 1 demonic, and 1 for 1 with gold to demonic bars. This makes getting demonic armor very easy, and it's an easy way to use your leftover bars. Number 15. With a recent update, came the use of tile bombs. These will only remove the floor tiles, which makes it easier for you to gather your floor again to replace it with new floors. Number 16, you can block swap depending on the tier of shovel or pickaxe you own. Simply get a block of a similar type, a wall for example, and then click and hold to build over the existing walls. This also works with flooring as well, making it very useful. 
The faster your tool, the faster you will swap the blocks. Number 17. Have you used up an entire stack of resources and want to continue to use it? Simply press the middle mouse button to select the tile you want and it will add it to your selection if you have more in your inventory. Number 18. An infinite water bucket is also equal to infinite landfill. Now you can fill an entire map with land if you want or make the entire island a water biome. To obtain an infinite water bucket, just complete the elder quests until he gives it to you. Hopefully it's not too elusive. Number 19. Didn't get the drop you wanted from the pirate captain? Well, once you've recruited or hired him, you can purchase the other items he would have dropped from talking to him. Number 20. If you're playing a class specific playthrough, it is in your favor not to combine the trinkets for a balanced foci, as a balanced foci will give you 15% damage whereas the specific trinket, specific to your class, will give a 20% increase. If you want the Frostfire perk on top of it, you will need to equip it as a second trinket. Number 21. If you're not sure on how to craft things, find the advanced recipe book from the Traveling Merchant. This is much more useful than the regular one you start with. Number 22. Sick of counting blocks one by one? Well, you can enable an in-game ruler by pressing F2 on your keyboard to bring up the game stats, and then hold shift to turn it into a ruler. Number 23, want a discount when buying items from NPCs? Well, make sure they are happy. The happier the NPC, the cheaper things will get. This also includes enchanting. The happier the wizard is, the cheaper your enchants. Number 24, you can connect islands together. Depending on where you exit one island, is the same vertical or horizontal location you emerge from on the next island. This means you can make continuous paths if you had multiple islands. Number 25. Looking for a way to increase your damage? Well, don't overlook the bone trinket. This will make even the worst summons slightly viable again and increase the damage you deal against harder bosses as it will effectively bypass some of their hidden armor values. Number 26. Items inside the void pouch or the void bag are safe from being dropped when you die depending on the settings you have chosen at the start of the game. Number 27. Trying to get the achievement for obtaining every item but don't know what you are missing? Simple. Just press escape, go to the stats and achievements page, and then select player stats. Scroll down enough and you can then sort by what's not obtained. Number 28. Pin your active buffs and modifiers anywhere on your screen by opening your inventory and clicking this button here on the bottom right. Then you can now drag it around anywhere on screen. If you want to remove it, Simply open your inventory and click the button again. Number 29. Feel you need a bigger challenge or to make it easier? Getting rated way too much? Well, you can change these settings on the fly at any point by opening the menu, going to world options, and then changing the settings you need. Number 30. Sick of manually setting all the settings for your settlers? Well, now you can copy the settings by holding down the left mouse button and dragging down the list. Number 31. You can use Zephyr Boots or Shields alongside a Force of Wind or a Blink Scepter by equipping the Boots or Shield in the active slot and using the other in your active bar. This is even more useful as you will dash or teleport in the direction of your cursor, allowing you to be much more accurate in your positioning. Number 32. Always losing track of your Elder? Well, he doesn't even need a bed. So make a small room for him and restrict him to it by assigning a restriction zone and then assigning it to him. Now he will never leave that location. And for the final tip, and probably the most important too, if you've already made it this far into the video, it means you probably want to see more tips, tricks, guides, and more. So make sure to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, so that way you don't miss out on any other useful things or updates as they come out. That is all my tricks for today, and I hope to see you around in the next video. Thank you. Bye.